Hello, welcome back to our online lab series. In this video, we will be demonstrating experiment number four, and the name of the experiment is equivalent circuit of single phase transformer. The first objective of this experiment is to determine the equivalent circuit of a single phase transformer, whereas the second objective is to verify the voltage and current transformer ratio. This transformer will be used in this experimentation. As you can see, it has three windings. The left side winding will be used as the primary, whereas the right side top winding will be used as the secondary. The third winding will not be used at all in this experimentation. This table shows us the nameplate data of the transformer. For example, the turns ratio, primary and secondary rated voltages and currents. From your theory class, you already know that this is the approximate equivalent circuit of a single phase transformer. Here, the quantities X equivalent and R equivalent are related to the copper loss of the single phase transformer, whereas the quantities RC and XM are related to core loss of the transformer. From your theory class, you also know that the quantities RC and XM are very, very greater than the quantities R equivalent and X equivalent. However, to determine these quantities, we have to do the short circuit and the open circuit tests. This is the experimental setup for no load or open circuit test. As you can see, the third winding, we are not connecting it to anything. That means we are not using it. Here, channel A of the isolation amplifier is used for primary side current measurement, whereas channel B is used for primary side voltage measurement. And finally, channel C is used for secondary side voltage measurement. That means we are measuring three quantities, two voltages and one current from this no load test. Like previous experiments, before making the connection, we have to check the safety fuses, whether they are working or not. While doing the KC settings, we must have to select the RMS values, as we are dealing with the AC quantities in this experimentation. Also, we will be selecting manual recording as per the guideline. So, to determine the equivalent circuit of a single phase transformer, we will conduct two type tests. First is open circuit test and another one is short circuit test. So, here, in the open circuit test, we have to be, we have to apply the rated voltage, rated primary voltage uh, at the transformer. So this is our single phase transformer. Okay. So this is our primary side and this is the secondary side. As you see, the rated voltage is 230 volt. So in the open circuit test, we have to keep the secondary terminal open, and we have to apply 230 volt. I mean the rated voltage at the primary side of the transformer. So this is our connection. First, we we have a source. This is the AC source, and then uh, we connected through the fuse, and we used three channel to measure the primary voltage, primary current, and the secondary voltage. So here, uh, this is the isolation amplifier, and this is the proficacy board. So in the proficacy board, we used three channel, and then uh, after this connection, in the KC software, we have to activate this three channel. So here, this is the first channel, second channel, and the third channel. So first channel will measure the primary current, and the second channel will measure the primary voltage, and the third channel will measure the secondary voltage. So when we activate the channel, we have to select the RMS value, because uh, the quantities here are AC quantities. So let's apply the rated voltage at the primary side of the transformer. So this is the rated voltage, two, 229 volt and then we need to record the voltage current and power consumed by the core so when we click here these are the data that we have uh, we need to record during the no load test when we apply the voltage v1 in the primary side a current i1 will be flowing secondary side current i2 is zero as there is no load connected to the transformer Therefore, the entire current will be passing through the core of the transformer. Then it will be divided into two branches, IC and IM. Remember, we have to apply 230 volt in the primary side. That is the rated primary side voltage. As mentioned earlier, during the no load test, we have measured two voltages and one current. They are given in this table. Now, using the available measurement of the no load test, you have to calculate no load power, voltage trans ratio, RC, and XM. This is the experimental setup for the short circuit test of the single phase transformer. Here, we have just replaced the voltmeter of the open circuit test with the A meter. 
Therefore, we are measuring two currents and one voltage from the short circuit test. This is part two, short circuit test of a transformer. Uh, my colleague just did open circuit test. So for open circuit test, we have to apply rated voltage and for short circuit test, we have to apply rated current. It's like testing the equipment under no load and under full load, but short circuit test, when you share the circuits, the current will be extremely high, so we have to have like a systematic short circuit test. So before, the secondary winding of the transformer was open. Now we shorted it, and we connected ammeter. This is the ammeter. So if you connect it to IC and OC, it will measure current, and the, this one is one to one. The scale is one to one, and uh, we are measuring the secondary current, and we have, we have defined also new quantities on CASI. Before, it was open circuit voltage, and then uh, power consumed by the resistor. And now we have a new quantity called ISC. So the input primary current will be ISC1, which is a short circuit test. Just to differentiate open circuit test and short circuit test, primary voltage will be VSC1, and secondary current will be ISC2, and then primary input power, PSC. Now this one is just to differentiate them, open circuit test and short circuit test. For open circuit test, if you want to verify the turns ratio, you have to use voltage, primary voltage and secondary voltage. For short circuit test, you have to, to verify the turns ratio, we have to use the current. We are applying rated current. So we have to make sure that the current at the secondary is the rated one. If you see the nameplate, the nameplate of the transformer, we have 230 volt V1 and 150 volt V2, and I2 is given 1.36. From the turns ratio, we can calculate the primary current 0 0.73 amps. So here, when we apply short circuit test, so we have to make sure that the rated current, which is 1.36, flows in the secondary winding. So just simply, we'll vary the input voltage until rated current, ISC2, flows on the secondary winding. So we'll just increase it increase it up to 1.36. And we have to be very careful because short circuit test, if you increase the voltage, then a huge amount of current will flow which damage the transformer. So as you can see, the applied voltage is around seven volt, but on open circuit test, we have applied around 230 volt. So see here, we have the secondary current, we have the primary current, and using the secondary current and the primary current, we can calculate the turns ratio. As you can see, we have shorted the secondary side of the transformer. Therefore, the voltage across the secondary side will be almost equal to zero. Here, the current I1 is divided into two branches, I0 and I2. As you already know that RC and XM are very, very greater than R equivalent and X equivalent. Therefore, the current I2 will be very, very greater than I0. For simplicity of calculation, we can remove the shunt branch. During the short circuit test, we have to be very careful about the secondary side current I2. It should not exceed 1.36 ampere, which is rated secondary side current. Now we have primary and secondary side currents as well as primary side voltage from the short circuit test as given in the table. Now from the available measurement of the short circuit test, you need to calculate the short circuit power, current turns ratio, R equivalent and X equivalent. That's all. Good luck for your report.